Hello there, this is Benjamin Crudwig from Benjamin Crudwig Fiber Arts and Design, and welcome to Lesson 2 of my new course, How to Crochet a Raglan Style Sweater from the Top Down. Lesson 2 is going to cover the basics of measuring yourself for your sweater. This sweater project is meant to fit you, and you only, um, unless you decide to measure your friend or your loved one. This is going to be a sweater that you are going to wear, so we want to make sure that it fits you perfectly. Have I said you enough? So there are six basic measurements um, when you need to take into account when you're making your sweater. And I'm going to go through all of them and how to measure for each one. Um, there is also something called ease that we'll take into account um, once we've done our measurements. So what you're going to need for this is a fabric tape measure, and that's it. Pick that up. So the first measurement that we're going to take is the neck measurement. So depending on what kind of neckline that you're going to choose, um, you're going to have a different measurement. So this neckline is more of a boat neck. Um, it's not as close to the neck. Um, this one is going to be more around the size of your head. Um, however, we're not going to measure the head so much as we're going to measure the neck um, and, and the area of what we want. Um, so to measure for a boat neck style, take your measuring tape and just wrap it around and kind of get it to the point where you would like your neckline to sit. Um, this is a nice loose neckline. Um, I might make this kind of sweater for when I wear a dress shirt underneath a sweater. Um, and so once you get to the point that you feel comfortable, find where the tape measure starts and pinch right where it meets the other part of the tape measure. And then get your reading. So that's about 21 to 22 inches and you would put that here. Um, I like to have a picture for all of my measurements. So I am going to actually make a turtleneck for this coming up project. So I'm going to be measuring a little bit closer around. Um, this is a rough picture. I am not a great uh, illustrator. <laughs> I got my degree in photography, not illustration. Um, so I like to make sure that I know exactly where I'm measuring. So I have my neck measurement here, my chest measurement here, my around the body measurement here, then I have the um, sleeve length here, the body length here, and the wrist measurement here. Um, a few of these might not actually be necessary um, for this project, but we will discuss that in a little bit. So I have transferred all of those measurement types here. Uh, that way we can do some math later on in the video. So I said I'm going to do a turtleneck sweater. So that means it's a closer fit. So you would think, yeah, you're going to measure your neck. Well, we don't want it to be suffocating. We don't want the, the turtleneck to make you feel like you're choking at all. So I'm going to account for the ease here, um, this is comfortable for me, you know? So I just put a little bit more slack in the tape measure. I am going to pinch it where the tape measure meets itself. And I get 17 inches. Um, I think I'm going to add another inch to that just for the sake of having a little bit extra room. So my neck measurement is 18 inches. Then, for your chest measurement, this one is sometimes easier to have help from a friend, um, but I want to make sure that this project you can do on your own if you so choose. So as you can see, I just brought the tape measure up underneath my armpits, um, pretty much right where my armpit meets my body, um, around my chest, my bust line. Um, I'm not a woman, so it's not really a bust line, but if you are a woman, um, put it around the largest point of your bust. Um, then you're going to take a deep breath, make sure that you are still holding the end of your tape measure, um, and then let it slide out when you breathe. That gives me an approximate measurement of 37 inches. 
I'm going to go up to 38 inches because that's my normal chest size. So I might not have had it quite seated properly. Um, so my chest size is 38 inches. The next measurement um, is around your whole body at the same level as your chest line. So what this is going to do, this is going to give us a measurement of the body, including the arms. So when we do some math a little bit later on, that's going to give us the measurement for our armholes. So I'm going to make sure that my tape measure is where my tape measure was for the chest measurement. I'm going to do another deep breath. And that gives me about 45 inches. But I'm going to go up to 46. This is not ease that I'm adding. I'm just, I know my body pretty well. And the last few measurements that I've taken, I think I must have been wearing this slightly thicker shirt, or I was breathing in deeper, or holding my body a little bit differently. Um, make sure that you are going to hold your body the way that you normally do. Um, you know, not hunched over, you don't want to measure this way. You want to be really comfortable in your sweater. The next measurement that we're going to take, that is kind of optional, um, so you can either do your sleeves as just a long tube, and so it'll be the same as the measurement here, um, which we'll get a little bit later on. And so you'll have a larger hole here. I have really skinny wrists, and that style of sweater does not look good on me. So I am going to just take a wrist measurement. I'm going to make sure that my hand can pass through. So that gives me about 10 inches of a wrist measurement. These next two measurements aren't totally necessary to take. So this is the sleeve length and the body length. The reason these aren't completely necessary is because as you do a top-down sweater in any style, whether it's raglan or you um, do the sleeves a little bit later on, you can try on the sweater as you are crocheting or knitting if you are knitting your raglan sweater. So that means you can keep trying on the sweater and stop crocheting when it hits you in the right spot. Um, and same with the sleeves, you can keep trying it on until your sleeve length gets to the point where you like it. Um, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I am going to show you how to take these measurements. For a raglan style sweater, um, the sleeve length is from the armpit down to wherever you like your sleeves to hit. Um, the armhole is actually made by when you separate the sleeves from the body after you've been doing your increases. So it really, the sleeve really starts here, um, where it meets your armpit. So I'm going to put the end of the tape measure there. With my hand, I'm just going to grab my tape measure, and I can see that where I like my sleeves to hit is just into my palm, so about 24 to 25 inches. I'm going to go with 24. Um, this will give me a little bit less uh, length, and I can always change this later on down the road uh, when I start crocheting and realize, hmm, maybe I prefer the length a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. It's totally customizable. For many people, the sleeve length will be the same as the body length. My arms are much longer than my torso, so it actually ends up being that my sleeve length is longer than my body length. I am going to do the same measurement from the armpit down. And I'm going to actually stand up so my head is going to get cut off from the video. I like my sweaters a little bit longer. So I'm going to get a measurement of about 20 inches. I don't like it when my sweaters ride up on me um, and I get that kind of cold draft in the back. Um, so I like to make sure that I have plenty of length in both my sleeves and my body. So now that we have our measurements, we can calculate what's called ease. 
Ease is just um, the fit of a sweater. How, how closely does it fit your body? For a very close fit, a tight fit, you're just going to use these measurements. You're not going to add any extra inches into the measurements at all. If you want a close fit, you're going to add about one inch to two inches of ease. If you want a standard fit, it's about two to three inches. And if you want a loose fit, you're going to go from anywhere from three inches to four inches. And then if you want a baggy fit, it'll be four to six inches of extra length or extra width. I like a closer fitting sweater, um, just a little bit like this where it fits me really well. Um, it fits the mannequin pretty well. I am not the size of a mannequin. This has a lot, a lot of slack. Um, but for, for this purpose, I'm going to add about three inches of ease. So it's not like a really close fit, but it's not a very loose fit. So I'm just going to add it to the, ooh, not to the neck. We're going to cross that out. So the reason I'm not going to add it to the neck is because I want the neck to be exactly where I had it. Um, it's not, if I add three inches, it's going to be further out and it'll be a really loose feeling and I don't want that. So the neck, just ignore that. If it was using dry erase, I would just erase it. I'm going to add these measurements to the chest, the body girth, and not the wrist because again, if I add three inches to that, it's going to be a really baggy wrist. It's really the chest and the body girth that you need to add fit, or the, the ease. You don't need to add it in the sleeve length or the body length, because if you add three inches to your sleeve length, you're going to end up down to your fingertips. And if you add it to your body length, it's going to be way down, you know, down your body. So my total inches are going to be neck 18, my chest will be 41, my body girth is going to be 49, I'm going to keep my wrist at 10, my sleeve length at 24, and my body length at 20 inches. So at this point, this is the conclusion of the measurement portion. Come back to the lesson three where I'm going to talk to you about gauge and how to swatch for gauge and just to get the idea of what your fabric is going to feel like. So come back in just a little while and you are going to learn how to make these numbers make sense.